Hello, I'm Adam and welcome. Today I will tell you about my problem and uh, I will try to resolve it. <laughs> but of course in my way. So, uh, I've got nice headphones, the Biodynamics. And uh, I've got even two uh, music cards. This one and uh, the other one in my PC. And uh, and uh, yeah, that's no problem. I can listen to a great uh, quality music on my computer. Yeah, but sitting on the uh, sitting on the computer and uh, listening to music, uh, that's not the most comfortable position. So I was thinking about uh, laying on the bed and with the headphones and chilling out. Yeah, that's that, that's what I'm that's uh, what I'm about to achieve. Uh, but those cards are internal, so uh, what are options? Uh, I can buy a eGPU uh, box and connect, uh, for example, this card instead of graphic card to uh, Thunderbolt uh, port, and it should work. Yeah, but unfortunately, those are so expensive that that's not the point. Yeah. Uh, another option is to get uh, long enough uh, cable. No, that's not the way that I have to uh, about I don't know five meters of cable audio cable that that won't work. Yeah. Uh, so, and the last option what I'm going into uh, is a mini PC with a PCI slot. And I have two options. Let me just make the screen. Uh, there is a first option, which to be honest, I used uh, for mining something and uh, uh, for listening music too. Uh, it's HP uh, 610 terminal. And uh, it's passively cooled, so that's amazing because it's really quiet. Uh, there is a SSD. There is a flash memory. In this case, it's two gigabytes. And uh, there is a slot that has PCI uh, Express um, times four or eight. I'm not sure. But the beginning of this port is a pure PCI Express slot. That means you can put anything there. Uh, I mean anything short. Uh, because uh, the rest pins is for the uh, add-on uh, station to this terminal. Because it can come with a little bit uh, add-on which makes it a little bit higher and some options are extended. Yeah. Uh, yes, and uh, I've got it for about a few years, it was working uh, pretty good, but uh, the main problem with that was uh, this uh, CPU there is, I don't know, from maybe 2006, 2007, it has two cores uh, and it's AMD, I think, uh, so it was an art to have running uh, Windows uh, and install Spotify and uh, yeah we don't see even a RAM there but there are some DDR3 RAMs and yeah there are underneath this uh, SSD yeah so uh, this overall is a really nice thing because it's x86 it has uh, a lot of USB ports it has a gigabit Ethernet even USB 3 dot o uh, ports uh, display port uh, and the power in is very restricted because it has uh, for the hp specific uh, connector which has the voltage on the pin which uh, respond which representatives a uh, power supply uh, power yeah but so we don't connect there just a single dc barrel plug but we connect something different yeah in many cases just genuine HP uh, power adapter. In this case if we want to put uh, something there we have to use a, 
we have to use, uh, for example, a uh, ribbon cable uh, extender to the PCI Express and we could use something like this to the GPU and uh, to be honest I was using it, it was working, yeah? and that's how it works, maybe in the opposite way, I'm not sure, yeah, this way and uh, it was like this and there is uh, and there card comes oh, it was a little bit yeah, it was there yeah, and that's how it looked and that's okay, but look how does it look, yeah? Uh, mess, totally mess yeah, so, but uh, I didn't decide to go with this one because uh, I have found something really, really amazing and that's this guy and uh, this guy is Acer Verton uh, the exact model is, uh, you can see there uh, Verton N4640G uh, and uh, this thing has uh, amazing form factor. This is one liter casing uh, at the beginning. Three USB ports, a microphone and headphones, and the reset button. Wow. Uh, the back is a display port. I think it's COM port. Not sure. Uh, but there is a display. I don't know. Oh, it's VGA maybe. Yeah, USB 3, USB 2, Gigabit Ethernet, another headset combo jack and the standard power supply. There is a place uh, for uh, HDMI output, unfortunately mine doesn't have it, but uh, yeah. And uh, now uh, let's check what's inside. Uh, generally there is one screw at the bottom to unscrew to open it. And uh, there is, I think, this screw to let, to allow to open case. We pull it uh, forward, and there are internals. Uh, yeah, it's actively cooled, but to be honest, I was testing it, and uh, in BIOS you have to set it to quiet, uh, to the silent mode, or even uh, you can. Uh, Anyway, in the performance mode, this thing is pretty quiet and it could be passively cooled, to be honest. But uh, at the beginning, we see an SSD uh, which is advertised as easily removable without tools. There we go. <laughs> uh, and we can see the DDR4 uh, RAM. Uh, I'm about to put there 8 gigabytes of RAM because the windows will be alive with 8 gigabyte that should be enough for the spotify player anyway <laughs> uh, the next we've got the m.2 slot and this one is for the uh, not nvme drives is it possible is it? yeah it's not possible to see but there is uh, ngff uh, marking so it's only for m2 but SATA and uh, to be honest anyway I bought the uh, SSD for this purpose because I wanted to have uh, something uh, I would say I, I wanted to have a little bit more air inside to be honest And let me just connect it. Yeah, uh, the connection to the connecting SSD is uh, relies without tools. That's great. Yeah, and it's sitting there. And uh, there is our magic. And the CPU. As you may saw, Core i3 inside. Yeah. Uh, there we've got normally i3 6100T uh, and it, it depends which BIOS version you've got uh, there are two versions R1 uh, or R2 uh, that you are able to use 6th uh, gen 6th uh, generation of CPUs or the 7th gen uh, generations of CPUs 
and in my case I've got uh, R2 that means I can insert seven generation of the CPUs and of course I wanted to have uh, four cores instead of two cores uh, because this thing will act later about uh, this thing will act uh, later uh, as a maybe some kind of a TV box or something to have uh, just windows under the TV uh, so I wanted four cores and I've put there i5 7500 i5 7500 without T so the TDP value of this CPU is 65 watts and uh, the T version has a TDP 35 watts and what happened and here comes the let's say overpowering this thing uh, in the BIOS you can see there are uh, in the information tab there is a, a power information about uh, which power supply is connected and uh, depending on this value the overcurrent protections are uh, are slightly adjusted to pass more power yeah and uh, normally there is a 65 watts and uh, now what i reverse engineered to be honest uh, if you want to have 90 watts there is, uh, by the way, I didn't show the most important thing. There is a, a PCI Express slot. That's amazing thing, yeah? You can put it like this. And yeah, great, yeah? Uh, to uh, unlock this thing to 80 watts, you have just to put a uh, uh, PCI Express card and the BIOS uh, will read that you have 90 watts power supply of course uh, there there is standard dc jack so there is no communication with the power supply uh, so generally the limits are uh, slightly unlocked uh, how does it uh, how it's working specifically i check that there is a ground pin on the one side and if we put the card inside the ground is transferred to uh, opposite side of the slot uh, uh, and uh, the both pins are grounded now the second pin is grounded that means that gives the signal to the bios or chipset or whatever uh, that we've got put this thing in and we have increased power but that's not all uh, we can unlock unlock it to 135 watts and uh, this thing this is a, a SATA port inverted and uh, you can stack this Acer Verton uh, to have a, a GPU on this side and on the bottom there will be a hard disk drive with maybe DVD or CD player whatever and uh, I had to reverse engineer that uh, what happens uh, what happens to let uh, it have a bigger power and that's uh, I don't know how to say that. that that's pretty clever hack to be honest uh, there is a SATA uh, data so like this port and there is a SATA power like this port uh, there is no 12 volts so uh, on this uh, port and this too by the way and uh, the way how uh, is it is detectable that uh, we've got connected the base uh, uh, add-on is that on the uh, SATA pins there is a 5 volt which is uh, shorted to ground and uh, so the pin is uh, high and when we connect the add-on it is connected to ground so the state is low and that's the signal which the BIOS knows that we've got the add-on uh, so we have to solder the pins what I'm showing you right now and it will unlock the 
135 watts if we have uh, shorted two pins there and connected uh, GPU. Yeah? But what uh, does it? But the question is, does it unlock the power, the full power of the CPU? And uh, short question, no. Longer question, maybe because uh, with uh, 90 watts I saw something, maybe a little bit better results, but maybe I will just I don't remember to be honest. I will show you the screenshots of the. Uh, maximum temperatures, maximum uh, core clock, etc. at uh, three different modes. Uh, but anyway, I will be using this thing as uh, 90 watt because with the sound car, so uh, maybe 10 watts more, but I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, so anyway, uh, I will have 90 watts. Of course, uh, I was checking the uh, power consumption of, of this thing and uh, Default uh, defaultly I had a 65 watt power supply and to be honest This thing could eat about 50 watts. So uh, Yeah, the power supply was 65, but it's good to not uh, It's good for power supply to not work at the I don't know 85% of the whole power because we know these things are pretty old so uh, anyway, I wanted. Uh, anyway, I had to uh, connect the additional thing, which required me to buy a better power supply. So I've got 90 watts, and uh, everything now is okay. Okay, so uh, now uh, there is a question: <laughs> Did you watch the Transformers video? Because uh, I have a 3D printer. 3D printers, to be honest. And uh, I had, I just had to um, print some improvements, let's say. The first thing is this stand. It goes like this. And it fits pretty nice, I must say. I must say. And uh, there is a screw to make it connected. And there is a screw to make it connected. And Wow, there we've got <laughs> very nice stand for this thing, but that's not all. Uh, I found on Thingiverse something really amazing. Look at this, and there are two screws for fixing it up. And just look, something around. Oh, maybe now. Yeah, something around this. And just look how it looks. I need to align it. Anyway, just look. That's amazing, I must say. <laughs> yeah, and there is no mess. It, it's great. <laughs> uh, of course. Uh, uh, maybe you can see now. There is a uh, this card needs an uh, external power supply uh, for the 12 volts and uh, to be honest it should be somewhere uh, because the PCE slot itself has the 12 volts and uh, I'm planning to oh it's underneath the fan uh, there should be a place to solder uh, to get 12 volts uh, under this uh, fan because the very first uh, pins of the PCI Express slot has the uh, 12 volts, so I just connect it and it should work, yeah? And uh, yeah, so that's it. This thing has Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and yeah, that's really nice piece of hardware and it's pretty cheap. Uh, maybe, I don't know, under $100 you can have full set with the uh, edge with the SSD with the some kind of RAM etc I've bought it for about 50 dollars but with SSD which has oh my gosh too much hours worked and uh, one one piece of RAM so I want to upgrade it and finally I will be able to listen music in a great quality <laughs> oh 
Okay. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Please leave a comment and hit the subscribe button. Bye. <laughs>